DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey friends, welcome to another edition of Tilescapes with DM Scotty. This is going to be the best project since the Purple Worm! Ah, uh, kind of lying there, not really. Uh, this isn't a super exciting project, but it's an easy project, and it really adds an element of 3D to your tilescapes that can help uh, give that illusion, that the isometric illusion that uh, the terrain is 3D when it's really not. So it, that, this is a really good project for that, and it's super easy. Let's hit the table, and I'll show you how to make these uh, tilescape arches for your tiles. Hey, Crafters, I've got a piece of my dollar store foam core. I like it because it's easy to pull the paper off. It's two inches long and a centimeter wide, and I'm doing centimeter uh, wide marks on it for the brickwork. And here's another piece. I'm just going to match it up and uh, put the brickwork in there. I'm just pushing a ballpoint pen into the foam core. And then all, what I'll do is I'll pull the paper off the other side and do the same thing. So just really easy to do. And uh, for the top here, I've got a uh, half inch wide that I've marked in the center, and I've marked half of a half inch uh, wide, and I'm going to pull that uh, the exacto down and get that kind of uh, pointy arch there. And then I'll just mark it with my, I'm not even going to measure, I'm just going to eyeball the brickwork that I want on there. Just push into it with a ballpoint pen, really easy, great detail on this stuff. Pull the backing off, and do the same thing on the back, the capstone there and just mark all that in there and I'll have a nice brickwork there easy peasy okay now I'm doing the base is an inch wide I'll pull the paper off the top I'll mark in the center there and then I'll kind of mark where the uh, doorway will be archway will be and uh, I'm just going to use that to my side archway there to mark where the stonework will be and then I'll kind of do some alternating stone work there on that. <clears throat> just pushing into the foam core. Totally easy. I'll just hot glue that on with my glue gun. Uh, both sides. This will be the edge of the arch. All right, cool. Now you might say, well, this seems pretty weak, but this will really help and reinforce this. I'm going to use a stir, stir stick and glue that on the top of this arch. Okay. And that'll give a nice sturdy base, as well as reinforcement. Then I'll put the arch on top of that, and uh, look at that, or the top on top of that, and look at that. That'll really help hold that down. A little extra on there, cut that off. <clears throat> Very cool. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the side. I'm going to have uh, the stick go down up, up the side there, the stir stick, and that'll also reinforce it. So even though the foam core is really flimsy, it'll make it really strong with these uh, stir sticks glued to it. Now for the base, I want to kind of reinforce that a bit. So I've got a piece of very thin cardboard, and I'll just hot glue that on the bottom. That'll keep it from warping and bending and that kind of thing. Nice. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to cover this with my Elmer's glue all. Just wet the brush a bit. Cover, cover it all up, both sides. Now I spray painted it flat black, and uh, if there's any areas you missed, uh, you can use the uh, black acrylic to fill in. All right, now I've got a tan and a burnt umber. And I'm kind of kind of speckle that on there, and this will give a nice variation on the stone color. And then I'm going to do the the gray on there with a sponge and kind of cover it up. I do different techniques with this sometimes. Sometimes I mix the two. Sometimes I do I do it this way. It all depends on the day and they work both work pretty equally well then when that's dry I'll just use uh, my highlight gray on there and really pick that out and these are great they'll be really cool to uh, give three dimensions to these uh, tilescapes so we'll hit the table and show you what these uh, look like 
So here's a nice example of a tilescape set piece, okay? And uh, you can see we have several rooms and a stairway going up, several doors. But I am using the arches to separate the two areas. And that really does help kind of give a sense that this actually has a ceiling. It's not just tiles laid on a board, that it actually has some kind of ceiling that, you know, uh, it gives it a sense of 3D height. You know, the doors help to do that, but the but the arches also help to, you know, continue that feeling through the tilescape space so it's not just, you know, flat tiles. Here's a recent tilescape example, and this is a crypt, okay? And you can see that, uh, you know, we have uh, Roderick and uh, Hilda in there uh, for scale. Turn around a little bit so you can see some of the details and uh, all uh, classic uh, tilescape and DMs craft stuff. But uh, look at these arches. So those arches really help to define that there's actually a height to this space, that there's, there's walls to this space, okay? And uh, take a look at it. I think those came out really nice. Uh, they're easy to do, super easy, super cheap, and they're relatively sturdy with those stir sticks. You know, without the stir sticks, they could break fairly easily. So there we go. I think it really helps to define the, the 3D-ness or, or that the space has walls. And there you go, arches for your tilescapes.